Hello you all. In this video I originally planned to bring the lead 2 acetate series to an end. But there were complications. So I had to make lead 2 chloride. But the acetate will come sometime in the future. I am really sorry for this but to compensate there will be a nice 200 subscribers special. And I'll give you a hint. It involves hydrogen cyanide. But now let's get started. For this reaction we really only need copper acetate which I made in an earlier video and elemental lead. To perform the reaction you have to bring the copper acetate into solution and put the lead into this solution. What's happening is a redox type replacement reaction where the copper 2 plus ions are reduced to elemental copper which crashes out. The elemental lead gets oxidized to lead 2 ions and forms lead 2 acetate with the acetate anions from the copper acetate. The reaction is finished when the solution has all cleared up. This is due to the copper ions being reduced to elemental copper which has no blue color like the most copper salts. Here you can see the produced copper on the wall of a reaction vessel which tells you that the reaction is really working. After all of the color has faded and the reaction is completed I went on and transferred everything into a Pyrex evaporation dish. But then there were complications. Like really bad ones. And I could only save the whole thing by reacting my leftover reaction mixture with dilute hydrochloric acid. Producing lead 2 chloride. Therefore I diluted some HCl and mixed it with my reaction mixture. This will react all the carbonates oxides and the acetate into lead 2 chloride which is insoluble in water and crashes out. I then filtered the lead 2 chloride off and washed it several times with cold water to get rid of excess hydrochloric and acetic acid. The product was then scooped out of the filter and transferred onto a plastic dish to dry properly. So until this point I was very disappointed because I lost nearly all of my reaction mixture and did not get any nice shots for you guys. So I recrystallized some of the lead 2 chloride that I could show you the nice crystals it forms when recrystallized from water. Therefore I just threw a bunch of the PBCL2 in water boiled it and let it cool in the fridge. In the end I got 61.25 grams of PBCL2. Not bad for a complete failure. So have fun and do not kill yourself. <laughs> 